Throughout human history, there have been many fighting styles created for warfare, sport, fitness, and much more. One of these is Hojujutsu. Hojujutsu is a fascinating and somewhat obscure Japanese martial art that has a unique focus, the art of restraining and tying up opponents using ropes. Hojujutsu has its origins in Japan during the Edo period, and it was primarily employed by law enforcement officers known as Yakazuki or Yakahari to immobilize and capture criminals. But what sets this martial art apart from others? Well, the core of Hojujutsu lies in its precise and intricate techniques of tying knots and restraining an opponent with ropes. These techniques are not just about physical control, they require a deep understanding of human anatomy and psychology. In a confrontation, a skilled hojujutsu practitioner could swiftly and efficiently immobilize an opponent, ensuring minimal harm while gaining full control. This art also included methods of capturing multiple opponents, which made it a valuable tool for law enforcement during the Edo period. The use of hojujutsu extended beyond the battlefield and became a form of judicial punishment where convicted individuals would be tied up in intricate ways as a form of public humiliation. Today, Hojujutsu is a rare and less practiced martial art, but it still holds a unique place in the history of Japanese martial traditions. Its focus on precision, control, and understanding of human psychology is a testament to the sophistication and traditional Japanese martial arts. Overall, Hojujutsu may not be as well known as some other martial arts, but its techniques and history are fascinating. It reminds us that martial arts are not just about combat, they're also about discipline, control, and the mastery of a wide range of skills. If you'd like to hear us talk about more areas of martial arts, culture, and far more, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.